said, yeah, I have a question. What in the actual f Oh, hey, what's up, folks? You're watching Trash Flash, and I'm your host, Diamond Dumont. And I'm your host, Cinnamon Charles. OMFG, folks. We have the debonair DJ and music meister, Uncle Pete himself, on the show today. And we're totes excited. Not only because Uncle Pete's on the show, but also because I'm retiring that old hunk of junky junk smell exa. Because I purchased a new state-of-the-art Beep Boopler Deluxe. It's super user-friendly. You just key in the number, push a couple buttons, and load up the Super Tramp Mogrifier. Then it's just a jump to the left, and then a step to the right. And blah blah blah, something about thrusting. Okay, here we go. Uncle Pete, are you there? Boop, 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 beep. Oh, hi, Cinnamon. Hi, Diamond. Hey, I just hanging out listening to some tunes. Uh, got our uh, single from our old band, The Meat Department, here. We recorded this on 100% prime beef, sealed it with a honey teriyaki glaze. Figured, uh, you know, one way or another, we're going to get a tasty tune out of this. And a fine hello to you. Say, Uncle Pete, why don't you tell us about what you do? So Cinnamon, Diamond, I'm so happy that you asked me to be on your show. I love fashion trashing. I love you guys, and I'm so happy to be here. Aw, shucks, Uncle Pete. That sure is nice of you to say. So what do I do? Well, let's see. That's a question people have been asking for years. I'm not really getting any satisfactory answers, but mainly there's two things that I've been doing for most of my life. When I went to college, I started to study optical engineering. And what that meant is I made a lot of really fancy high-tech lenses. I learned how to design these and how to manufacture them. And they wound up going in things like, oh, outer space, the space shuttle, the Mars probe. Uh, they went into medical and university research things. They went into... The machines that made all the chips that go into all those devices like computers and phones and things that everybody has. So I did that, but I thought to myself, you know, really, where's the future in that, right? So the other thing I did was I started doing a radio show at WRUR in Rochester, New York, playing punk rock music. Because radio really stunk. And I wanted to hear some stuff on the radio that I liked. Of course, I still didn't get to hear the stuff I liked because I was on the radio when I was playing it. But anyway, I started doing that. So that's what I do now. I gave up that optical thing a few years ago. And I do a punk rock radio show every Wednesday night at WHIW.FM, the Uncle Pete Show, of course. And the other thing I do, and I've been doing for about the past 17 years now, is I've been a host of a show alternately known as the Dark Vault of Public Domain and Uncle Pete's Dark Vault and maybe something else and it's it's an old fashioned kind of horror host show like from the 50s and the 60s kind of horror host things and we hang out down in strange places and show B movies and cult movies and lots of fun stuff so yeah that's kind of what I, I'm I do. That is freaking awesome, Uncle Pete. You know what else is awesome? So as you may or may not know, I've been working a part-part-part-part-time part, part, part job down at We Don't Need Another Euro, and I've started to build what I'm hoping will someday become the world's largest freestanding Euro. That's all I got so far, but I've worked there like three days this month, so you can chill. Say, Uncle Pete, why don't you tell us about what you've been up to lately? Well, wait a minute, though. Before we get to that, I've got a surprise for you. You know, being a science kind of guy and, uh, you know, being in the dark vault and all that kind of stuff, 
I have done a lot of inventing too. One of my most famous inventions, of course, is the spectral disembobulator. And uh, that's got its world renowned three position switch of off, on, and moron. But I made a special device just for tonight because I was thinking, you know, this is so great to be interviewed by Cinnamon and Diamond, but I'm so far away, it would be even cooler if I could be interviewed and chat with them where they are. So I invented the automatic replacerator. And what this is going to do, hopefully, I've never tried it before, is bring me right to where you are. So, fingers crossed, I might want to put these back on. And here we go. Forget which way this is supposed Well, we'll try it this way. Here goes nothing. Got it? <coughs> what in the black magic, Bobby? Unbelievable! That sure is a fancy fancy machine you built there, Uncle Pete. Wow, Uncle Pete, it sounds like you've been quite the busy guy. Oh my gosh, I love that movie. Uh, what movie? Quite the Busy Guy. You know, that slappy comedy from the 1980s starring Xavier Fontaine. Um, do we have a clip? He's a guy. He's quite busy. He's quite the busy guy. What can I say? I'm a busy guy. I gotta pick up the laundry. I gotta bake a cake. I've gotta buy cheese. Are you gonna pay for that? I gotta buy those concert tickets. Yikes, I gotta work three extra jobs. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. I gotta go over here, then I gotta go over there. I'm a busy guy, what can I say? What a romp. I would've loved to have been in that movie back in the day. I believe I was born to play the part of a sassy cheesemonger. Hey Uncle Pete, if you could be in any movie, what would it be? Any movie? Well, you know, again, I think this is sort of like how I did two things way back in college. I did the optics and I did the punk rock DJ thing. It's a sort of two movies that are my two favorite movies of all time. And one of them is Rock and Roll High School because the Ramones, and if you know me, you know I'm a Ramones nut. And the other one is March of the Wooden Soldiers, also known as Babes in Toyland, starring Laurel and Hardy. Because I love Laurel and Hardy. I love that movie. So let's see. I would like to be in Rock and Roll High School because, well, yeah, the Ramones. I get to hang out with the Ramones. I get to eat some chicken vindaloo. And, of course, Riff Randall. Ah, Riff Randall. So, yeah, I'd like to be in that. But I think if I had to pick one, I would pick March of the Wooden Soldiers. Because I'd get to hang out with Laurel and Hardy in Toyland. And I'd get to see Little Bo Peep and Old King Cole and the Bogeyman and, you know, hang out at the toy factory, see Santa Claus drop by. So if I really had to pick one, I think I would pick March of the Wooden Soldiers. That is an excellent answer, Uncle Pete. Hey, D, do you mind turning it down a little? Sorry. I can't help myself. It's just that I freaking love this song so much. It could be my theme song. Flippity flap, I make my cheeks clap. Mix finger snap and toes and tap. Dippity doo, I'm a kangaroo in a wooden shoe. Scream and woody boo. Rolly poly, crack a molly, holy moly, rig a rolly. Whatever happens, you pepperoni chunny with a thick baloney and a bony bony. What about you, Uncle Pete? What would make the best theme song for you? What song would make the best theme song for me? Well, 
again, kind of got two of them. Because for a whole bunch of years now, I've been opening my radio show with the Ramones' Cretan Hop. And that song kind of encapsulates the whole feel of the show and kind of encapsulates my life, too. You know, there's no stopping the Cretans from hopping, loads of fun and energy and stuff. So, yeah, that's, that's one of my theme songs for sure. And then at the other end of the show, I've been closing out for all these years with Link Ray's Rumble. I mean, Link Ray, I love Link Ray. I got to meet him a bunch of years ago and hang out with him and talk with him, and it was so cool. And, and Rumble, it's such an awesome song. I mean, what can I say about Rumble? You just have to hear it, and you know. But, you know, I think that's my other theme song, especially because I always like to add at least a little Rumble in everything I do. So there you go. I think those would be my two theme songs. Those are some class A bangers, dude. You know what else is banging? It's time for that part of the show that we like to call Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. What? What? Hey, Uncle P, what's your vision of the future? What is my vision of the future? Well, you know, again, I think I got two of them. Um, lately, I've been watching a lot of uh, uh, puppet shows, you know, like uh, Letter People, uh, Beanie and Cecil, you know, things like that. And uh, I've been getting really into to puppets. And I don't know, may, I don't know if you ladies ever watch any puppet shows or know any, any of them that might be on. But um, I'm thinking it would be cool if there was like an Uncle Pete puppet. Now, I can't imagine what it would look like, but it would be cool if there was an Uncle Pete puppet. And then we could do Uncle Pete puppet merchandising. Yeah, like, you know, Uncle Pete dog bowls with the Uncle Pete puppet in it. Um, Uncle Pete bowling bags, um, you know. Uncle Pete pencil boxes, it's, it's pretty much endless. Now, but the other thing I was thinking as a vision of the future, and this came to me in a vision, is holographic clothing. Now, I figure mainly shirts, right? Because you have holographic pants, you don't have any pockets. But holographic shirts, I mean, they've already got like totally holographic people, so they must be able to do that, right? So I'm thinking, you know, a little holographic shirt projector in your necklace or your belt or something like that. And all you have to do is press a button and you go from, you know, casual to formal to Hawaiian to, you know, whatever. So, yeah, holographic clothing. That's better than mine. I have an idea for a new fun party game called There's a Hair in My Primavera. You get to guess whose hair is in the Primavera. It doesn't sound like it, but trust me, it's a real blast. Um, hey Uncle Pete, where do we go to find out more about you? Now where, where, where would you find out more about me? Well, you can always stop by my house. You know, I'm usually hanging around someplace. You know, I got a couple of cold ones in the fridge. So, it's, you know, feel free. But... The other places you can find out more about me, of course, you can listen to my radio show every Wednesday night on WHRW.FM. You can go to my Facebook page at Uncle Pete Official because there's all kinds of stuff over there. And it's got, um, oh, I don't know, pictures and words and music and all that good stuff. Color pictures, too. So you might want to stop by there. And you can always get in touch with me at my email, which is UnclePeteShow at gmail.com. That's UnclePeteShow at gmail.com. And there's a new thing about to start out because all of my radio shows are archived at a place called TheUnclePeteShow.wordpress.com. So if you've never heard The Uncle Pete Show or you've heard it and you want to hear it again for whatever reason, um, go there. And you can listen because there's just, you know, literally hundreds of shows archived over there. 
But there's a brand new website coming. It's just being born now, and it's going to be called theunclepeteshow.com. I came up with that name myself. And, uh, yeah, so that's coming out soon. So that will be another place to contact me, but mainly Facebook and the the email thing that I mentioned. And, of course, you know, drop by the house. And we'll have all those links below, so don't forget to click them. And finally, we gotta ask, how did you get to be so cool? How did I get to be so cool? Well, you got me blushing by suggesting that to begin with, but let's see. How did I get to be so cool? I have to say, part of it is my family. Um, I got a pretty cool family. I, I got musicians in my family going back to, like, my great-grandfather was in Kaiser Wilhelm's band, okay? And my grandfather played in a jazz combo that had, like, a weekly radio show in central Pennsylvania for years. And my dad started to play in my grandfather's band when he was, like, 14, and then that's how he wound up uh, making money through college and for the first several years after he graduated and soon after became a music teacher, but he played in jazz combos you know, all over, everywhere. My brother played in tons of bands and has literally written hundreds of songs, lots and lots of ragtime and lots of other songs. And so I think all that stuff, you know, my mom, she sang opera, uh, was in a lot of shows. She actually appeared in Metropolitan Opera for a few productions and you know, put all that together, growing up around that, that helped me get cool. And the other thing that really helped is listening and talking to people and reading. Because that's how I found out about all this, like, weird stuff. You know, it's not really weird stuff, but a lot of people think it is. The music and the movies and stuff like that, it's not stuff that you get Uh, you know, just by sitting around and waiting for it to come by, you look for it. You talk to folks who do something different. You read a little bit on the back of an album or in a book or a newspaper, and you listen to all kinds of music and all kinds of TV shows and all kinds of stuff, and, you know, distill it down, put it together, and I think that's it. That's how you get to be so cool. That's the recipe for getting to be cool. Checks out. Thanks for being our special guest on Trash Flash, Uncle P. Wow, it's been so great to be here. This has been so much fun. Thank you for inviting me to be on Trash Flash. I love what you do. I love your show. And it was like such an honor to be here with you. But before we go, I got an idea. How about the three of us go out and get something to eat at Back Fats, my treat. I'm thinking I got to try some of those cheese wizard hot dog logs. Yeah. And maybe some pizza fried chicken. And, you know, if if you two are up for it, I think all, all three of us, definitely, we should go for the taco apocalypse challenge. Yeah. And then, hey, sad clown room for karaoke. <laughs> Am I right? Let's do it. Oh, gosh. Well, thanks so much for having me. And back fats, here we come. Sign us up. And thank you for watching Trash Flash. Be sure to tune in next time when our guests will be the super rocking Gina Volpe from the Luna Chicks and Bantam. Should be pretty fun. So until next time, folks, thanks for watching Trash Flash. I'm Cinnamon Charles. And I'm Diamond Dumont. Hasta mañana, iguanas. OMFG, I'm so excited to go to Backfats. I've been dying to try their intestinal, distressinal cesspool of messy dips and chips. What can I say, D? You had me at intestinal. Let's go! With Uncle Pete to Backfats.